To the second win, I am your host Rashid Hammond, and alongside it's your boy, Mister. Hit the like button, sub to the page. She's a fantastic. Well, today we have a very two very special guests in the building, ladies and gentlemen. We have no other than DMV boxing legend Dau Marty. How's it going, brother? Fine. How you gentlemen doing? And we also have in the building, ladies and gentlemen. The twenty, the two thousand Olympic bronze medalist, Clarence Vincent. How's it going, brother? Man, all's well, man. Good to see you guys, man. Good to man, see you. Likewise, all. brother. Likewise. And so we we gonna we gonna tackle it to this top, but I had to bring the experts in on this one, man. The brothers that saw every style in the business. So you know, so when you know when you get. Uh, uh, expert advice, man. You got to go to the ones that actually seen the styles to tell about it. So, I had to bring my brothers on here, man. I truly appreciate both of y'all for coming on, man. And the topic that we got in hand is uh, Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. And we want to see uh, your, your predictions on this fight who you got winning and why. So uh, I'm gonna start it off with uh, brother Dau. Um, who do you see winning this fight on when it happens? And so why? We, you know, we always know that boxing is a it's a it's a gamble when you get in the ring. We all want things to go a certain way, but anything can happen. One punch, one shot. But to me, I think that not being biased but being truthful, I think that. Um, um, uh, what's the name? The uh, Tank. Tank has, yeah. Uh, yeah, Tank. I think Tank might have the edge because I think he's a little more seasoned professionally wise. Um, I think that uh, Tank would go in to set traps. Now, Tank' weakness is fighting short fighters, but he's he's pretty good with tall fighters. Um, I see no no problem. I think he'll be setting traps for um. Uh, Ryan, Ryan is a great, uh, great pedigree in the amateur, but to me, he still make a lot of amateur mistake um, by pulling back with his head sticking straight up. Um, he sits back when he shoot that. He got that nice left hook, but he shoots back, and if he can hit you, it's, it's very strong. But I think that Tank will get him as the fight go deeper. Tank will um, start to wear and tear on him. And most fighters, when they feel the power of Tank, I think that the fight might turn to like more like a clinching, grabbing, holding. Once he experienced the power, he probably do a lot of holding and, and more surviving. That is my um, take on it. Okay. Okay, we going to Olympics bronze medalist. Clarence, who do you have and why on this fight as well, brother? I like Tank. Um... Ryan Garcia, um, he he he's a he's a he's an okay fighter. I wouldn't even say he's a good fighter. He's an okay fighter. I think um, he's still um, young and raw. You know, he got raw talent. Okay. Um, but I think that um, he possesses uh, great skills. You know, um, um, but he. he for him to win that fight, he have to be almost perfect. He have to keep that fight in the um, center of the ring, and he and he must um, stay behind his jab. Um, he can't let he can't let um, Javante close the distance. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you 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 figuring twelve rounds, and um, so when I'm dealing with twelve rounds, and I'm dealing with a a a, a guy that's raw, they got raw talent. Because he he's don't get it twisted. He he's good. He's a great talent. But I just don't know how good he is. You know what I'm saying? Um yeah. I mean, don't get it twisted. He he showed he showed uh great things. Um who 
was that platoon that he fought? Fortuna, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and um, nobody stops Fortuna, you know, when he did that, um, man, and he looked excellent in that fight. But I just think Javante got, you know, all that it takes to uh, make this, uh, uh, I ain't gonna say it's gonna be easy because he got close that distance, you know, and then you dealing with a young guy. And so I can remember um, spawn guys when I was, um, when I was a seasoned pro and I was on like amateurs and they was, they had, they got a fast twitch. So he still got that fast twitch, even though Javante's fast, but uh, he has a, a faster twitch than his and he got a distance. Um, yeah. But he, but like I said, he got to be perfect. He got to keep that fight in the uh, center of the ring and he can't let Javante close, um, close the distance. He can't let him cut the ring off. And he never can get caught up on the ropes. Not at one, not one time can he get, um, can he uh, um, stand to be on the ropes because that'll cost him. Um, so yeah, I like Javante. Javante got all experience in the world. So, you know, and a lot of guys say that. Uh, see, I don't like. See, Ben is though, cause I I feel like I was a good boxer, and I I think I still have a good boxer, but <laughs> I. I I, I feel like I know the sport. See, Javante, um, he's not what you call your the regular uh, boxer. Like, for instance, like when you look at Larry Holmes, like that's that's what you consider a boxer puncher for real. Like a guy that sets mm -hmm. everything up off the jack. Mm -hmm. Javante yeah. is, uh, man, he's just seasoned. Like he set traps. You know what I'm saying? He don't he don't do it off the jack, man. You know, like. Like even that shot that he caught, um, Roly, Roly, Roly Romero would. You know, a lot of people that don't know boxing, they man, he caught him with a haymaker. You know, he was losing the fight, <laughs> but that fight, if you if, oh, if you watch that, you could tell that he works on that shot, man. He actually, yep. uh, he actually anticipated that shot. He caught one shot right here mm -hmm. and he countered with the next. Yeah, you know what I'm yep. saying? Roly threw that. Roly threw. Roly threw that punch yeah, five seconds before it, and yeah. Tank looked like Tank was like, "Man, ugh. he mad that he missed it." So Roly yeah. threw it right back, and he was like, "He was right. He's ready for it that second time." Yeah, well, <laughs> but see, Javante anticipated that. He took a step back. He caught it right here, and he counted. And look, and he knew it was perfect because when he hit him. You can see him doing like this, like <laughs> yeah, getting yeah. all the way, like yeah, okay, right. this where you going at? Right there, right. Ole. <laughs> yeah, Ole. Right. Yeah, Ole. Yeah. So if you go back, I just told you what it was. You go back and watch it, and you'll see that's just what it was. Um, Javante, uh, he sets a lot of traps, but again, boxing is boxing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So would I be surprised if Ryan upset him? Not at all. Yeah, because styles make fights too. That's why I'm right. saying mm -hmm. styles make fights. But if I if I'm a betting man, you know everybody know me. I love to gamble. <laughs> if I'm gonna bet my money, I'm gonna bet it on Javante. Yeah, smart man though, man. Yeah. I'm with you, brother, man. Uh, yeah, I, it, it's it just seemed like it's in, it seemed like it's in his favor because of that chin being up. But you you do gotta be aware of um like you say um Javante. I mean, uh, um, um, Brian Garcia got that quick twitch, like still like the amateurs, right? So you, you that already could be a know. problem for him. Yes, right. indeed. Yeah. And one, and one thing I want to acknowledge too is that um, only thing I'm a little concerned. I never seen Tank buzz before. I seen Ryan get hit and had to come off the ground and fight himself out. I seen Mayweather got busted up, nose bleeding. He had to come dig deep with yeah. Cotto. Um, many great fighters. Uh, 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 Chico Durell, uh, um Chico, yeah. what's his name? Diallis. Um, um, Diego Corrales. Yeah, Corrego yeah, Diallis. I seen him have to dig deep. Yeah. The only thing I haven't seen, that's the only thing I'm a little nervous about, I never seen Tank have to dig deep like he got buzz. I've seen a lot of great fighters got buzz and they had to fight their way out because a lot of great fighters 
even when Mike Tyson, when he first got buzzed, when he finally got buzzed, he didn't know how to take it. He was just all out the, out of his mind, like knocked out when Buster Douglas uh um dig deep on him. He didn't I didn't yeah. he didn't know how to um handle that. And oh, when he got up, he was looking for his mouthpiece because they never been yeah, in he trouble. He didn't know what to do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the only thing concerns me. Yeah. I say this, I disagree with him um not being um in any type of um trouble. I think um when he fought uh Mario Barrios, he got hit with something good. Um yeah, I'm gonna tell you another one. See, I see honestly, <clears throat> he fought that boy Pedraza when nobody mm -hmm could be Pedraza. Pedraza right. was the best 130 pounder out there. See, this, this is what I'm saying. Like, people really thing. don't know the sport of boxing. Mm -hmm. He was the best 130 pounder fight out there at that mm -hmm. time. And guess what? And this, and this dude, he just fought Garcia like that. No, nice. Olympian, yeah. You know what I'm saying? People don't know him because yeah. he don't have that big name. Mm -hmm. But, uh, man, yeah, he but gave Devontae everything that he wanted and needed. Right. That's you know true what I'm statement. Saying? Only only problem that I have with Javante, and I'm saying this this could become a problem, is because I mean lately he been starting late. Now you can't give a sucker or a person, I mean a person that that really got hot, you can't give a chump <laughs> a chance to feel like they could beat you. So you know what I'm saying? not a round. Yeah. Yeah. So if you start giving them them early rounds, like they that's get the only laid. thing that's starting to get troublesome and, and puzzling to me is you know the rounds that he's been giving up late giving just up. early in the fight and one thing yeah. for sure i think uh ryan garcia is is definitely the bigger man you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying so mm -hmm. as, as yeah. time go on man if if he won't see like a lot of these guys that's why i say these guys for real they don't know how to fight no more man i mean like they don't have they don't have that knowledge like back in the days man like a dude like Barrera and them man you know like when Mario Barrios was fighting um Javante instead of uh letting them walk him down and all that old shit he's supposed to be leaning on him just putting that body weight on him just letting them know nigga you in the you in the ring with a bigger man you know what I'm saying every yeah. time he got in there he's supposed to understood that he was in there with a bigger man now this is what I say. But at the end of the day, I wasn't in there. Javante might be just that motherfucking good. Mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That these guys yeah. just can't do it. I like Shorty. Yeah. Shorty remind me a lot Shorty of my like that. Yeah, he remind Shorty me. Shorty like that, man. Yeah, he, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I think he got, so. He got, some super, he got some super strength. Now, man. when he hit people, you can see the whole fear just comes into their face. In their eyes, I mean, he hit with destruction, and he put his body into it. He he put his whole body. He taught. He put his whole oh, yeah. body into it, man. Coming from the earth, when he right, hit well, you, right. arm punches, and, all yeah. taught. Yeah, you you know what? And you're right, man. All his punches is 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 you know he distributing his whole body weight. He's not uh arm punching at all. You know yeah, yeah, he, he comes he's definitely not doing that you know so um yeah i mean i i like javante in that fight for the money but again if he was to get upset i wouldn't uh i wouldn't uh be surprised you know what i'm saying but you know my money on the home team all day long oh and, no and, way and, and, look, <laughs> and, 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 and look i don't feel like i could do no wrong with shawty man Hey, look at That's him, man. Right. Hey, look, if I had to bet my house on it, man, I'm going with Shawty, man. That's yeah, right. That's the home team, oh, man. You, know, Clarence, you brought this topic up, right? You mm -hmm. were stating that um, Javante is a late starter. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you think by it. him being a late starter fighting Ryan Garcia, you think it's a possibility he can get clipped with a shot? Trying to start late fighting. On the shot early. <laughs> oh, no, the shot is early. I think if he rushed in, which he probably is not going to do, he's going to lay back. He's going to step the traps. What a lot of people don't understand is Tank is a great boxer, too, not just a banger. Yeah. This man, he's throwing his shoulder rolls. 
man blocking setting up shots and you know being here with ben him ben though that he trained with may mayweather a couple of times too he probably know a lot of inside he got a lot of inside trades as well he has a great coach in calvin but being with mayweather also he probably learned a lot of tricks of the trade too as well you gotta learn something up in that camp up there in, uh, yeah. Bay. Oh, yeah. so, so when I, I ask you this question you know uh you know i Look, you know, we came up uh boxing together, man. Yeah, you and Rashid. So That's you know what I'm mean. saying? But I gotta ask you this question because I for real, I, I, I honestly think I know a lot about boxing, but I just wanna see, I just wanna test your mind. So look, you say you say he's a boxer, right? So when I, what I ask you is is this. So what kind of boxer? Because I mean, I say he can box. I mean, not saying he's a boxer, I mean he can box as well. But 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 what I'm saying is is mm -hmm. Can you see Javante throwing uh can you see him like throwing like doubling and triple up his jab, uh th putting combinations off of it? Because see, I think that he's capable of doing these type of things, but I think that he realized what he has, and so he don't do those type of things like I think that um I don't I don't consider him a boxer. I don't consider him a slugger. I just consider him as a veteran fighter that, you know, understands what he needs to do to win the That's fight. Right. And yeah. I don't so I don't so I don't view him as a boxer. Now I tell you this, um not I know look, he got tricks because she, he had to pull him out. The, he had to pull him out when uh when his hand got hurt, and he yeah. had to use one hand against uh um yeah. um I, um, That's a crew, crew. Yes, but um indeed. I never had to dig deep that as, one. Mm -hmm. I never considered him as a boxer, but I think that he knows how to box. You know what I'm saying? But I think that um like like well it might go back to what he said a lot of these guys never brung that out of me where they could see that i'm gonna give you a prime example um one of the best boxes the prettiest boxes i ever seen man and a lot of guys wouldn't know how good of a boxer he was because when he came in the pros he was hitting so hard and me and my cousin we always dispute i had to tell him about this guy man and i say man this one of the prettiest box and he was so vicious of a boxer that they was calling him the um the Russian Ray Leonard. But when he came to the pros, you wasn't seeing no boxing no more because he realized that he had the best right hand in the business. Do you know what I'm talking about? I like Triple G. No. No, no, Russian, Russian, Russian. You go back, you go back you go back, see, go back and watch his amateur fights, Google it. Google him boxing uh Teron Millet in the amateurs. Google him boxing uh Vernon Forrest. Google him in the in the in the um world championships. And you gonna say, damn, I didn't know this guy was this talented. See, a lot of guys can really box, man. But then when yeah. they come into the pro, you know what I'm saying, and they realize that they got power, you know, mm. they don't they don't use their boxing skills no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Whenever you get a chance, man, uh, go back and pull that up, and then the next time we have a conversation, bring it to the table. But man. you let know me, what? You can know what you, you, you really can <laughs> see that though. If you look at Kasazu, he do he set that he do set that joke up though off them jabs though a lot of time. Mm -hmm. He coming in with three and four jabs and he dropped that right hand, but yeah. it's not in the boxing man though. Thought, he but, thought, but, uh, but, but, but when he was an amateur, he was slipping, he was rolling. Yeah, I'm gonna he check him out. I, I'm gonna he check him flat. out. Hey, look. He did, hey, look, he did one of my moves. He give him him, make go in. <laughs> hey, okay, yeah. I'm going to tell you, man, hey, he was something special, man. Check his amateur fights out. And his I will right do, hand, man. He always kept it right here. It was just like this all the time. And, yeah. it, hey, look, I'm going to tell you, man, if you go back and watch his amateur fights, he going to look like night and day from the pros. Mm, from the pros, like, yeah, man. man, was he really this believe that, man. Yeah. So, but check that out, man. And then bring it to the table again, man. So this is the next question, fellas, man. Um, with the catch catch weight situation, 
Uh, Do y'all feel as though this is just a play on the uh, the tank camp just to throw them off a little bit, or is it necessary knowing that Garcia is the bigger fighter? Both of y'all are known for losing, you know, had to lose weight before. Having to be ten pounds over does it make a difference that he's going to be, have to be ten pounds? No, the rehydration, the rehydration, the rehydration clause. Clause. He's yeah. already he's supposed to be fighting one forty anyway. So he's going up to one sixty. Why would I want to fight him at and he go up to one sixty when in actuality he had a chance to fight uh ten before? But guess what he did. He put in Manny Pacquiao. He's gonna do an exhibition with Manny Pacquiao to get the fight <laughs> canceled. Do y'all remember that? <laughs> he said he's gonna do an exhibition with Manny Pacquiao to get out the fight. And if you want me that bad, then you'll do whatever it takes. I mean, if you in shape, that little bit of catch weight, because he gave him he can he can blow up 10 pounds. Come on, man. You supposed to be in shape anyway. What you want to blow up 20 pounds? Right. Hey, you look. know, ain't no excuses. Let's get ready, I say this though. I say this, man. You know, this is what I'm saying though. Um, the the sport of boxing, man, is 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 just way different, <laughs> man. Back in the days, this stuff ain't matter. You know what I mean? Right. But, but, <laughs> That's but, what I mean. Right. But, but, and look, they never they it never matter. But I would tell you, I um I actually I agree, but I disagree. I agree for the safety. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because. It was a fight when um a Toro Gotti fought somebody. He fought 140. Man, he came in the ring at 160, man. Yeah, he did. Crush him. And look, and I'm telling you, every time he hit this dude, man, it looked like he was hitting him with the back of an axe, man. Yeah, hey, like, yeah. I'm telling you, man. Uh, Crush him. Larry Merchant say uh, his head looked like rocket soccer robots, man. I'm telling you, every time. <laughs> <laughs> that was my bad, Larry. Hey, look, yeah. what I'm telling you, man, um, I'm telling you, that's why they changed it, man. I'm telling you, uh, Latour Gotti almost killed this guy in the ring, man. And he made a, he made a statement. Um, he say, man, look, he say, look, he say, um, so we, he outgrew 40. He couldn't make 40 really no more. Mm-hmm. He, all he could make was like, he was like a 45, but somewhere like in between that. But he wasn't no 47 pounder. But he was walking around like what well, six. Yeah. But he told them dudes, man, because he got punished at 47. And he told them, man, I'm a man without a weight class, man. You know, I can <laughs> fight, but but yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Uh once they start uh making that uh that weight clause where they checking your weight like that, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, look, I agree, man. Look, I mean, don't I mean for real, for real, honestly, uh, like even me coming out the Olympics, for the most part, like, for like when I was fighting, like the ball was pretty much in my court. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I could pretty much pick and choose this, or I had to say, like, look, this what I want. You know what I'm saying? Now, Ryan Garcia, uh, man, he he. He got like a. This is what I'm saying. This this sport of box. This is it's messed up. Changed up, he, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got he. So he got a million followers, right? You know what I'm saying. He got a million followers. He never won a title. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying. Chico Javante Davis won at one thirty, one thirty five, and one forty. And at one point in time, he had belts in all three weight classes. Mm-hmm. So why is it he? Why wouldn't the seniority be with him? You see what I'm saying? But in order to make this fight, this is just to show you how, how vicious politics is, he had to bend with him. But if it was anybody else that uh, had the same record as Ryan Garcia, he wouldn't have to bend with him. They wouldn't even try to even argue the fact of getting this, that, or the other. But the only thing is because that's what I'm saying. It's, it's it, it ain't about how good you are now. It's about how many asses you could put in the seat. Get in the seat. Opposed yeah. to man, how good you are. 
Yeah, that's what killed a lot of things. Money killed a lot of things, a lot of cultures, a lot of great yeah. things that could be great, man. They do, they ruin it, chasing money, man. And then they get mad at the fighters because the fighters want to take boxing as business when that's all it is is business. It's yeah. that well, fight. At this point. Well, that's what it is. That, it's, 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 it's nothing but business now. Strictly business man, now. Man. Man. At this point, yeah. We came to the point where it's fucked up because we won't get the the best to fight the best right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I but I ain't gonna lie, I commend the both of these guys. Regardless yeah. of what it was, man, these two guys made it happen, man. Yeah. You know, um man, I, I look, them my them my guys, man, they made this shit happen. And Real I like talk. the fact that Devin Haney and Lomachenko made it happen. Yes, you indeed. Know what I'm mm -hmm. Yeah, so I That's I gonna be a good fight too. Like you yes, talk about I think I think Tank and Ryan put fire into a lot of people now. They everybody well, trying to make hey, something happen. Yeah, well, you know, they put the camera on these niggas, man. You know, yeah. they're not faking niggas. Yeah. Like that, right. <laughs> they're dodging niggas, each other, man. Faking. Yeah, I, right. see, I see y'all niggas stop faking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Talk this, this street clothes, he on the other side of the street. We ain't with the yeah. same promoter. Right. Man, it, that man. shit ain't never matter. I hate it, I don't man. Know I hate where it. shit come from now. Uh, and right, I'm man. trying to piss me off with the sport of boxing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the business that's messing it up, man. They they size of the streets, this promoter don't want to yeah, mess up his it. money with this fighter. So he like, but then now they, the messed up part is the promoters, the ones that's not trying to make the fights. But then you got people blaming the fighters for not wanting to fight each other. And I'm like, come on, y'all. Y'all got to know these fighters going to fight each other. You know what I'm saying? If, if it boiled down to it, the fighters going to fight each other. The promoters and the networks is going on trying to, you know, save money, you know, trying not to lose their bag. You know, you know hopefully... one, one thing I know about boxing now is that Mayweather was a, a great fighter, but at the same time, that old being undefeated kind of like did a damage to boxing mm -hmm. because everybody's scared to let that zero go. Nice. You know, everybody, because yeah. back in the day, we watched Sugar Ray Leonard, Duran, they were great fighters. Someone had six losses, five losses, seven losses. But very great. It still could eat. Fighters. It still could eat. It still could, eat. It still could make the dynamic fighter. So, you got these promoters out here trying to hold you from getting that L. You know, you want to retire 50 year old and 60 and no. So that that undefeated thing in boxing now, it, it come like the hunters because we're not seeing great fights because everybody want to hold on to that zero. Yeah. To your force. And then a lot of times what happened is you'll take a chance and, and fight a nobody, end up losing to somebody that you, you thought it was a tuna fight. And now we're never going to see that fight because you take a chance of going in with somebody you thought you had the edge over them and get knocked out. Now right. it's over with. Now you don't mess. You don't really mess your market up for making more money. So I right. really lose somebody top top knocked and lose to somebody with 15, 20, 30 losses, and now you're a disgrace now. As yeah. you know, in DC we call them tennis shoe bammer. You lost to a tennis shoe bammer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm prime, saying? Prime, hey, look, prime example. That nigga. Uh, I mean, for real, this was the biggest fight that could be made, and they jacked that money so bad, man, that they don't want to see now one of them fight for real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but um, I'm gonna tell you. But I still, I'm still, I'm still riding with my man, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Yeah, yeah I want to see that, man. Exactly. It's still, it's still a hundred million dollar fight, I think, man. Man, but look, yeah. but, but guess what? But don't nobody want to see them fight. Like if yeah. it was to say, uh, they don't want to see them fight, man. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's probably. It's probably. It did diminish. They should have took it, man. I, I man, wish they would have hey, took look, it back then, man. Fight. They should have made. That was it a anyway big fight, for, man. They should have made it anyway for the sport of boxing. Exactly. So at this point in time, they was able to make the uh, undisputed heavyweight champion, which we had. Exactly, had they had that opportunity. Yeah, yeah and, and, and they didn't want to do that. You know, everything is more political now. They fucking the sport up, man. And vicious, so real, man. I don't like to cuss like this, but boxing. You good, man. man. You good, frustrated. brother. You good, brother. You frustrated. frustrated. Let it out, brother. Man. Boxing is terrible now, 
man, you good, brother. That's the, this, this where we vent that, man. Let it out, brother. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, they, 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 they right. need them. That's right. They hijacked boxing, and um, we have been shortchanged of a great fight. You know, um, I think that's why I think Tank kind of broke off from Mayweather. Back. He felt that he was holding him back, and a lot of people was getting angry and saying that he didn't want the fight. But I think Mayweather was taking them in a business aspect to get rich and wealthy. But Tank wanted to take those chances and fight these big name fighters. Um, I think he's um, leading the way to really take a lot of chances because he said he don't want to fight for a long time. You know, because he's fighting, he got fighters fighting underneath his banner now, his brain. Yeah. So he's really trying to eventually uh, ease out and uh, fight a couple more great fights. And then you probably see him uh, moving on, moving out the way. Mm. Yeah, man, I, right. I'm glad. I'm I'm definitely um, happy that though they both made it happen, man. You know, they both put it on the line. And this this Hall of Fame boxing right here, man. When you take fights like this, when you put you put that O on the line, man, and and take those chances. Y'all remember when we was coming up in the amateurs, man? This is the only way we knew how to fight. We had to fight top notch fighters. We couldn't duck and dodge nobody back then. It was right. hard to get out of that in a tournament. Okay, which tournament you went to? It was somebody that was going to be a challenge that you couldn't sleep at night worrying about the next day if you go on, win or lose, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. So me, me and you, us three, we used to that feeling. We been, we we coming up like that since we was kids. Yeah. The way the tank and, and Ryan about the field, you know what I'm saying? This is how we always felt. Because it was yeah. always a joke in our tournament that was a threat, you know what I'm saying? Some form of fashion. We, we might think we're going to win it, but we still thought about, man, hold on, man. Oh, yeah, you joking, absolutely, might, man. Might get me tonight on, you know what I'm saying, vice versa, you know. So you we know. understand that that's why we got a different mindset on this thing about boxing and how it is now. I even saw amateurs in the locals copping out of fights, man. I'm like, we, right. we, that? we never done that, though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? We ain't that. never cop out a fight, man. We go, if we gonna win, we gonna lose, and we gonna learn. That was the That's beauty right. of boxing. You learn from it. So, yeah, um, I could well, not nah, say that. Hey, look, I had a, I had a lot of dudes pull out, man. When I was, I did name. too, though. I did too. I, <laughs> I did what I'm saying, too. Though. Hey, look, but being from DC, you couldn't do it. They you couldn't do it. Yeah, you and the no bullshit. Yeah, hey, I, yeah, yeah, you. Man, I went to. I'm gonna tell you who else used to have a lot of guys. I, I, I started having. Well, no, I, I man, I was having that from the juniors, but I'm gonna tell you who had a lot of guys pull out. Lord Sean Johnson. Yeah, and Sean always had jokes. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, man, they see him in there. Hey, they ain't they want say, no hell problem. Nah. Dog, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah he That's had real pull talk, out. man. That's real yeah, talk. My, my he couldn't is, get no pro fights, could he? You know, he couldn't even get no pro then, fights, could he? Really, because he had to leave to go to California. They didn't really have it like that for most of the little guys like that. Yeah, okay. He had to go to California. And then he, the weight class he was in, they weren't really putting too much money in the lower class at that time. But um, Hands of Stone and you know, all them guys, you know, Mark Johnson had to even take that trip to California. He didn't really have a home base. He had to go fight in California a lot. To get the fight, yeah. Well, you know, uh, at, the, at that point, um, the um, it wasn't no, it wasn't no million dollar uh, fighters in that way. Um, yeah. The, the first one was uh Michael, Michael Carver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, then you know, then you, I mean, then you had uh the guy what's they uh. And he became like one of the greatest. I mean, he's a he's a, a legend. Uh, Ricardo Lopez. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember him. Yeah. Pure boxer puncher. He's a boxer. And, uh, you know, but um. So you know, it was it wasn't it wasn't um, it wasn't likely for money to be in that weight. But I'm gonna tell you who made the biggest money, man, in that weight at that time. And actually, I I fought. I fought my um second fight on his undercard. And he and I'm this why this why I tell you, man, um how because how politics is. 
So you got the WBC, you got the WBA, and you got the IBF. Those those always been the top three belts, right? Mm-hmm. Hands down. This dude, he had the WBO, and he wow. was the number one guy at the lower weight class, and he was making millions. That's crazy. Do you know who this was? Hmm. You know I'm who this trying, was? I'm trying to guess. Did, uh, did this guy jump uh, up a bunch of weight classes later? He was in the featherweight. Okay. The Prince not seen how made. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. Yeah, and yeah, he yeah. had yeah. a lot of money. It's cold. And he had the WBO title. That's and look, crazy. He was make, and look. He was making, and he was he was the only guy making them millions at that time. Yep. Yeah. 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 But nobody yeah. making that money like him. He, he was yeah, entertaining. He was personality he, he too, looked, though. Yeah, he was he entertaining. Was, he was bigger than Floyd at that time. Because they Floyd was. was trying to make that fight. Mm -hmm. They was. Yeah. You know I'm saying that was the that was he was the biggest attraction in he the whole way. I wasn't even right. thinking about. I forgot about Nasir. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't yeah, yeah. know it was that low. I thought he. I yeah, thought he was like one thirty five. Yeah, Nasir nah, had he some. Was one, he was one twenty six. Yeah, yeah, he could yeah, fight yeah, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. was awkward, but he could hit. Man, yeah. look, yeah, he okay, swing all kind of angles. We was uh, my second fight. I was fighting at the MGM Grand on pay per view on this card with him and Barrett. The guy, um, I think his name was Suarez, whoever the guy that was holding the mist for him. Hey, look at him, man. Every day, <laughs> I, I come, every day I go to eat, man, he got ice on both his shoulders. God, <laughs> damn. Ice, ice down, right? damn. I thought, hey, look, I thought the nigga had on shoulder pads. Right? <laughs> I say, man, uh, I say, man, uh, I say, man, hit that heart. He looked at me. Everybody thought it was going to be CV at that time. He say CV. You think I'd be walking around here looking like? <laughs> hey, he say man. He he say man. This guy literally knocks my shoulders out of place, man. God damn. This is guy. This how hard he hit, man. Damn. And look, I tell you what. Guess what? See, um, Big Gary. He used to always say, man. You could tell, like, when a guy really could punch. Like when they be getting stoppages and stuff, like, like how they how they stop the guy, and see yeah. this this and see then this is why you can result back to Javante Davis. He say, man, when they fall, they be discombobulated. Yeah, and man. Look, mm -hmm. When he used to hit people, they was out. They couldn't get yeah. up. Look, the way he hit uh um Julio Santa Cruz yeah. out like a light. Hey, mm -hmm. that, nigga, that nigga say, man. Man, I don't man. He, hey, look, he didn't remember his name, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he don't. He still he couldn't speak for a couple. Of, man, hey, look, that uppercut was nasty. Face, hey, yeah, man. that was a mean joint. So that's yeah, what I'm trying to that, man. Like, yeah. So them that them guys really, man, like like they they be like them guys could punch, but yeah, he was the guy that that actually brung that money in the weight class. Now, Mark Two Sharp Johnson. Was the first Afro American to win a title in the, in, the, in the lower weight classes, and I ain't even gonna lie to you. You know, uh, I used to spawn. I, I I I adapted my whole style from him, man. Yeah. I looked up to this guy, um, and you know, as I used to get out on him sometimes, he used to get out on me. You know what I'm saying? And at one point in time, I had got out on him. I was young, but now I understand. And I was, and matter of fact, this was right before he won the Pentagon and then title. Me and little Gary, we was farming and we got out on him. It was, I, I guess this was, you know, I like in your training camp, you be about to shut it off. So he probably was just tired. He just wanted to get his last workout. Yeah. But we, 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 we got out on him real good. And so I really thought I could beat this dude at this time. And I'm just, I'm just <laughs> real amateur, but man, now that I'm older and I'm wise, you know, man, I couldn't do nothing with that guy, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know, hey, you know, so the whole level, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, and 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 one of the best fighters in the world at that time. 
Yeah. I don't even mm-hmm. think Roy Roy was good. But Roy wasn't better than him at that time. Nah. I don't even think Floyd was better than him. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Because when when you when you look at styles like like for instance with Roy, Roy was good. Roy had natural talent. Like Roy did everything unorthodox. Like he wouldn't like he did everything wrong. Like like he'll leave he with did. a hook. He'll That's leave true. with a hook. He 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 you know, but he was fast. He was he he, he could punch. He was a great yeah. fighter. Hey, one of the best to do it. But Mark Johnson could do everything. He could box, he could punch. punch. Good defense. He, whatever you want him to do. Defense man. can hit, beat you without getting hit. <laughs> hey man, look, man. This guy was one of the best fighters I ever seen in my life to this day, man. Yeah. And and everything that I achieved in my life, I owe it to him because that's who I, that's who I, that's who I watched, that's who I patternized my whole style behind. Yeah. And you know, man, and that's that's who I give everything to. I give for real, honestly, him. I love Ray Leonard. I love Tyson. But when I, when I, when I got to say, man, look, this how I did this. I did this watching him, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see it though, man. Now I look at it, I I definitely see you and Mark out a similar style and stumbling flow, even with the head moving. Man, mm-hmm. all the way to my father's death day, he thought that was your uncle, man. Hey, look, <laughs> everybody, uh, you know, uh, thought that. But you want to know the crazy thing about all that shit? Look. Everybody always thought we was family, you know what I'm saying? Whereas though, man, you know, it was like we was family. Yeah. With the crazy, with the crazy shit. I guess we, and, and he always called me his nephew. But the yeah, crazy, the, the crazy thing about this all is, but he really some kin to my kids. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, I see. so so it's he connected either family, way, right? Hey, look, he really like. And and you know that's my uncle, you know, you know, cause that's that's like I say, that's why I better rap. But yeah, my kids, they got the same blood as him. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yes yeah. indeed, yes indeed. I just see y'all spawn Finley's and Finley's and Finley Gym. Everybody came through Finley Gym at one time. That been in the yeah. game, in the alley, the gym in the alley. Finley's all all yeah. the great. Fighters came through there one time to spa. I called the sweatshop. It was hot yeah. and everything. That's the most, not to cut you off, that's the most historic gym ever. You know, we yeah. I mean, in that gym. I'm going to tell you something. You know, we had the best fighter that, that would go down in history. The best lightweight ever came from D.C. Do you, you all know that? Was it Mims? No, not Holly Mams. Uh uh-uh. uh. Bad muff. He a bad guy too, but he was heavyweight. The best light heavyweight ever. You don't know the best light heavyweight ever is? Light heavyweight? Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um He from DC. Yeah, you talking about um 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 the light heavyweight champion. Um god damn I, I, I post him all the time. Him. He had I to post him all the time and, and James Baker don't let me not post him. He mentioned him every time. Bobby Foster, man. Bobby, Bobby Foster, Foster, Bobby Foster, who the originally best from uh, light heavyweight ever in the world in the history. Yeah, Bobby Foster. Yeah, bad yeah. man. Yeah. His trainer was who? Uh, what? Bobby Brown or what's his name? Um, Bobby Brown was a legendary trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his. That was his trainer. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Foster, man. James Baker will not let me post the champions without <laughs> posting Bobby Foster. Slim. I'm trying yeah, to tell you. Awesome. You know, Bobby. James love Bobby Foster, man. Hey, Bobby Foster. Hey, look, couldn't no light heavyweight. He, he had bad. to move up the heavyweight. Heavyweight he and Ali. I ain't guy. like that though. I didn't like that. Yeah, it, it was too much. That was a big jump. Too big to fight Ali. Mm-hmm. Ali was too big for him. Yeah. And Frazier and all them guys, man. Yeah, yeah, too know? big for him. And then he, was bad. he dominated heavy, like heavy, though. And and look, and that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I say, like, back then, them, those guys, they was different animals. Yeah. They different animals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to get into the 135. 
Now, each of us gonna go around and we gonna give our uh who we pick and why we think gonna roll at one thirty five when it all boils down to the end. Who gonna dominate? I'm gonna start with you, uh, Clarence. Let you start it off, brother. Who you think is going to be the top of one thirty five and why you think so? Man, uh, <clears throat> I think um. So I, I like Javante. I like Devin Haynes. Um, I like Ryan. But my, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But my guy, and I don't know if, if, if it's just because, you know, like, because actually, you know, he 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 won the medal in the um, Bantamweight division after me. Like six, probably sixteen years after me, yeah. but I, I go, Sh- Shakur Stevenson, yeah. Shakur <laughs> Stevenson, man, it's That's gonna it. be hard to beat this guy. See, mm-hmm. I be telling Definitely. people, man, that your best champions, when you really get your superior champions, right, it be those Olympic champions. Come on now, Pernell Whitaker, Roy Jones Jr., Muhammad Ali, uh. George Foreman, Sugar Ray um, Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard, man. I mean, the list goes on. When you get your them guys, Floyd Mayweather, yeah. Um, shit. When you when you really start dealing like with the with the guy that 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 really stands out the most, I always lean towards those that, that pedigree right there, man. Um, oh. and 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 so I I actually feel like um. And he's growing too, man. Like, 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 man. Players too. I mean, man. Yeah. I, I was looking at if you look at if you look at um how he was when he first came in to how he is now. Like, yeah. like you could see that his you know his man strength starting to come. He's starting mm-hmm. to develop into a man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, I, I don't see nobody beating him, man. I mean, cause I don't see how they gonna beat him, man. I mean, it's it's, it's going to be almost impossible, man. I mean, that's like playing chess. You know what I'm saying? All day because, see, one thing about him is he's, um, he could, like, like, he'll be content with what you, what you give him. He'll let the fight be born. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and, and keep it in the center of the ring. Like, he won't take, he won't, he won't gamble. Mm-mm. Unless he know he got enough money to gamble with, you see what yeah, I'm saying? That's true statement. Like you know, I saw well, you know, like some people like they gamble. They be like, man, this my rent money, but I got to do it, man. You know? <laughs> right, right. He, he ain't gonna do it. Hey, right. look, he, nah. hey, look, he will be the guy. Be like this, man. If I gotta get it with this rent money, I ain't gonna be gambling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So he, he, like, man, this guy, man, he's. Man, he he's something different, man. You know, um, so I, I lean towards him now with Javante. I just say, man, for real, because I tell you, he remind me so much of myself. The only person that can beat Javante is Javante. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's the only person that can beat him. And I just don't see uh Ryan being intelligent enough. To be yeah. uh, Shakur in that ring, you know what I'm saying. He don't have enough, you know what I'm saying. Um, Devin Haney. Oh, I forgot about Devin. Devin, he, Devin. he good too, right? He rangy. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, what, Devin Haney reminds me of. Uh, he reminds me of Daryl Coley, but mm-hmm. upscale. Yeah, yeah, but upscale, reminds, yeah, yeah, yeah. Upscale Daryl Coley, man. Um. Um, he could do anything boxing. he wanted to do in there. You know what I'm saying? And um, and and one of the things that that's gonna always keep him um in people's mouth is he disciplined, man. He he yeah. a, he a gym rat, and he, he and he actually lifestyle he, um, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he knows the sport. You know what I'm saying? A lot of like a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of the best fighters, man, really ain't street dudes, man. 
That's you, right. know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Street dudes, man, you know, have it hard because, you know, um, our temptations are a little different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and them guys, like, they don't know this. They heard of this. But they don't, that, that ain't their temptation because they never had a piece of this. You know, yeah. you can't, you can't um, uh, starve or want something bad that you never had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's, I, I go, I lean with Shakur, man. Shakur, I, I, I put it between Shakur and, um, and Tank, man. Yeah. You know, so, you know, uh, uh, let me Hank, go to you. Yeah, I will. Hank will be moving to 140 soon. He said he don't really have to. Well, I, I ain't got him. I ain't got him moving to 140 before. Uh, before Devin Haney. Devin Haney. Yeah, Devin about to go. Devin Haney can't yeah, continue to make that big. Gone soon. Hey, if they hey, were hey, smart, they would stick around at 135 hey, and make that bag. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Devin Haney draw it up in that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Haney's way. Devin Devin Haney. I wouldn't be surprised if damn near for the seven. This career, we see him at like fifty four, man. Fifty four, yeah, yeah. He's right. Because he say he can't hang. He say he's getting too big for the one thirty five. Yeah. He says starting to drain him. And uh, when you see him looking at Loma, Loma look like a little boy. Yeah, looking at him. Uh, Loma so, say, Loma so, say, so, say, is this heavyweight? No. Is this heavyweight? So I ask you all the question. So I ask you all the question. Loma like that, man. People yeah, keep talking about age. Nah, stuff. Nice. Yeah, he so like that. Bad dude, man. At 35. Because that's what Devin going to have to be. For 12 rounds. Do you going to beat Loma? Who's going to beat Loma? How, how, I mean, I, but my, my thing because okay. he, he ain't got no rehydration clause in his contract. Yeah, he going to blow up. Hey, look. But look, guess what? It don't matter. Let me tell you something. I that movement of that man. I look, I fought yeah. for the title, right? I had to lose uh I had to lose eleven pounds in one night. I lost like nine and a half or ten. Man, let me tell you something, man. Soon as I uh because you know when we lose weight, I don't know if y'all used to do it, but I this is something I always used to do. You know, I don't go straight to the water, I go straight to the pedia like. I did. Did y'all do the PD light? Yeah, I, I used to do the PD light. It. I didn't never need it. I do the PD light. Oh, yeah, I used to do the PD light. Yeah, to get all them electrolytes because you electrolytes know back, then, back in your system. Mm -hmm. Damn yeah, right. Back then, they ain't had the water with electrolytes. The only thing you could get them from was PD light. PD light. Yeah, that's it. Man, look at him, man. I drunk that. I drunk some water, man, and every got every piece of my body started cramping up, man. It felt mm. like, man. Like, I was about to have a stroke, man. Damn. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. I don't care. Uh, I don't care what that what that weight thing is, man. Because one thing for sure, when you drain your body down, and trust me, anybody tell you that for me, I that's what I used to do. Anybody tell you, man, once you reach like eight with that weight, yeah, and you start touching that eighth round, like seven, eight. You feel that you shit, though. Feel it. You gonna feel it. You, you gonna feel, feel it, it in your legs, man. Yeah. And if you got a tough fight, if you got that nigga touching your body, you gonna feel it, man. Yeah. So, 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 I, 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 huh? so basically, you saying Clarence is for real, for real. A person drop all that weight down, that ain't not, that ain't really always an advantage. It could be a disadvantage, nah, is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, because and then and but then again, look, a lot of guys that drop their weight, you gotta think a lot of times when they drop it, when they come out, they go hard on them. They go hard on them. So probably like five or six, they wind up stopping them. Yeah. But if that guy stick around, if he could weather that storm and he ain't tripping off of that. Trust me, when they get to about eight, yeah, they hey look, it's gonna be a gonna different ball game. Oodles and noodle me. legs, oh, man. Man. looking <laughs> like she, looking like Rashidi Ellis. Man, hey look, you gonna see them? You gonna see them? You know, you know how when they put their arms in, you gonna see them clenching their arms like this. Yeah, calling the ref. I'm telling you, man. Look, yeah, that it coming to play, man. But 
Yeah. You know, uh, we we gonna have to see, man. I just think I just think that that's gonna be a more competitive fight than what people think. And I, I think, think that's gonna be a great so, one, man. And I mm -hmm. think it's more so because it's at one thirty five. Now, if yeah. you take Lamo up to one forty. It's a different it's ball. Different ball. Oh, man, going up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 135, he's really um, he, he don't bring his punching power up there to 135. Yeah. Um, everybody when they hear him, it seemed to hurt him a little more than he hurt them at 35. Mm -hmm. More so when he's at 26 and 30, he was Chris. Yeah. yeah. He started getting touched by Haney, leaning on him, holding him, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I could see Haney more than Camboso. Uh, Staying toe to toe with him, right in the pocket, giving them the angles and, and and chopping them up, long range, hitting now, them with straight right hands, hey, uh, nah. teeing off on him, man. Now, now I one thing I say, oh, go, 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 go. Now, one thing I say, I ask, I want to ask y'all. One thing I always say is that Loma, he never been outboxed. I never seen him get outboxed. Now, when you when you get in there and make it a little dirty with him, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, a little bit more rough and physical with him. Yeah, that's when he have his problems. But when he up there in there with a boxer, he he, he you know yeah. he normally handle boxes. Then that's the only thing. Yeah, that's the only thing because you know that background, all them amateur back, all them amateur fights and stuff like that. He done you know he done dealt with boxes. You know, you, you, you can't know? take nothing from him. He's a um, he's an outstanding fighter. Um. Sometimes you just got to take a little bit of this and a little bit of that to put it together, like kind of put it in your head what type of fight it would be. I think the way – and then style make fights. Um, uh, what's the name? Cambosa. Uh, was Devin waging Haney. war. Yeah, he was, he was waging war, but Devin Haney was – too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he he got boxed too much, man. The first, the first <laughs> fight he outboxed him. The second fight, he let him taste. He don't really have one punch knockout like um Tank, but he have that type of power that still will make you honest. And he and he have that power that he got some good pop like Mayweather. A lot of people say he don't really hit it hard, but he have enough to make you pay attention. Do not make that mistake again. Get some, yeah. you know, get some pop. Well, I think, I think, um, See what a lot of people. I think a lot of people, for real, they ain't really get to see the best of Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather yeah. always could punch, man. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, I, hey, look, I seen him knock guys out in the amateur. See, yeah, you know, too. by the time he got, by the time he got to the pro, his hands was brittle already, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You That's know, right. but um, that man, uh, he could punch. He wasn't the guy. I tell you, another guy that could punch. And the people didn't take him as a puncher, but he really could punch. And even Zab said, "Man, that's one of the he hit him. He probably one of the guys that hit him the hardest." Pernell Whitaker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, guys uh, got get, got certain styles and they lean toward it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He knew he had a pretty style. But whenever Pernell sit on his shots, he could he punch. Him. And mm -hmm. But I just his bad hands messed him up. Fight against Mayweather, he yeah, Mayweather, the, uh, Roger yeah, like Mayweather, he showed he could punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when he fought Roger, had a lot of hand problems. He sat down on them punches on that Roger fight. Yeah, right. but he had a lot of hand problems too. That that was mess his power punching up. Yeah. He had a lot of hand problems. So right. Daou, who who you see being on top of the one thirty five pound weight class? The 135, I think, is it's up for grab. Um, it's up for grab. Shakur Stevenson, he don't when he, after his fight, he don't have no marks on his face. He <laughs> fight more like nah, he fight more that. like for me. <laughs> right. For me, he fight more like his fight look like they spawn. It look like he spawn. Bad boy, um, man. He throw that quick. He like to throw that straight. Um, Left hand to the body, he set it up, yeah. uh, and sit behind jabs. He make the fight look easy. Well, one thing I did see when he was spawn tank, that tank was cracking. You say he and, was spawn tank? You seen him spawn yeah, tank? Yeah, I seen I, I seen the leak tape, the leak tape of him and tank was spawn. Uh -huh. And man, 
I seen that that Tank was cracking, and he was like, "Hold up!" Sometimes, like you were like, "Hold," and Tank got that power hey. to make you kind of hey. think. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Request right. your hey, not, decision. Not to cut you off, but when he was spawned, when he was spawned, Shakur, Shakur was an amateur, right? Mm. Yeah, he was still an amateur. Had to be. Yeah. So, so what? I, but what I'm telling you is, is is different now. And I'm not saying that Tank can't do what he did back then. Yeah. But I'm just saying, it's a different ball game, baby. Yeah. It's a different ball game. You, see, you know, so one you, thing about boxing is that who you going with, Dao? Who you going with? I uh, mean, it's 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 an up and up on this it's one. Toss up, yeah. yeah. That's a toss up. <laughs> yeah, you gotta and get him. Just that, though. I, I feel think, you. Hey, look, my thing is. Him. He's like faking. he putting his dice in a bag you know i don't like to get myself my my hopes up high for a lot of these fights that's really probably not going to never happen because of the um the promoters have a way of hiding fighters and hmm. uh, holding hmm. up titles and if they get too heat they can give a belt up step aside so you will never fight um, uh, my thing is, you know, boxing is a boxing. Is, we all know about boxing. We predict one thing, but it's a boxing is a it's a puncher game. It's only, it only take one shot, just like um, uh, plant for what's his name um, uh, derail name derail, derail. And we don't see plant as a hitter. We don't really <laughs> see him. Because we see him lost to Canelo, we don't really look at him. He don't have that many KOs. So Plant, I mean Plant went in there and, and um, what's his name, Darrell? Yeah. Darrell went in oh, there yeah. thinking that he's a he's feather fisted and yeah. got caught. Yeah. Got caught. Got caught. Nice. But, that, but see, that that just shows you how, how that just show you how how um how much these guys don't know. I always tell people, man. Man, look, you don't wear nothing but some eight ounce gloves, man. Anybody <laughs> could punch if they place it right. I don't care how fast the fences they are. Look, <laughs> and guess what? Paulie Malinaji looked like he was uh, the the most feather fist, but guess mm -hmm. what? He got a stoppage. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what I, what I'm telling you is is, and if anybody hits you correctly. And then you know a lot of punches that knock you out is the shots you don't see. I see, yeah. So right. me personally, I don't never look at a guy where it's though they can't punch. You know what I'm saying? I just oh, cause because I just feel like everybody, you know, uh, got the capabilities of, of hurting you, man. You know, uh, if you think that you're a fool, you you know, you're a fool. You like you going in the war with uh with all the guns, and you like. And you ain't tripping because you got all the guns. And but these niggas got guns over here too. But you like, man, I ain't tripping. I'm just gonna go over here and you run right. into an ambush. That's right. <laughs> go in there, all them guns and do come out with a one nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, hey, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it has actually happened <laughs> in real <laughs> life, though, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I see jokers with choppers get hit. Your feet pointing up. Your feet pointing up, and you smoking. And you know right, right. <laughs> hey, see jokers with choppers get hit with a with a nine. Shit, easily. I, That's been happening. I've been hit plenty of time in boxing, and sometimes I was man, I wish I was at home that night. <laughs> like, I've been hit so hard before. I wish I was in the stand looking at the Dang. fight myself. Like yeah, man. Yeah. It's them jokers that get cracked, man. Right, man. Yeah. Jokers that get cracked, man. Yeah. Crack. Especially if you get hit with that first, you like, hold on, I got to, I got to change the game plan up. Or this always that shot you don't see that's going to knock out anyway. It's the shot that you don't see. Yeah, the knockout man. don't come from the punches you see. It normally yeah. comes from the punches you don't see because your yeah. mind cannot embrace the shot. You hit yeah. it, the subconscious mind shut down. Man, we've yeah. been hit by something unfamiliar. We got to get out of here. Bye. Yeah. Yo. So, C's, yeah. who you got? Who you got at one thirty-five? 
dominating, man. Cause we gotta get, man. We gotta get um, your answer too, brother. I'm a I'ma say short term tank. You know what I mean? Okay. Short term I say tank, like the next okay. year or two, you know what I mean? But once Shakur get the belts and all that and nine all that up. Yeah, he yeah. probably. I mean, I don't. I don't got nobody. Stop. I don't know if him and Tank gonna fight because of the old politics. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's not gonna be. A, we're not gonna be able to answer that between them two if they don't get in there. So um, let's say short term Tank. Um, long term, I'm more with Nahu. There's a toss up between Shakur and Tank. Um, but then you gotta think. Long term, you're gonna have more folks coming in too. You got Keyshawn, you got the youngest, um, Schofield and Abdullah Mason stepping up, and all these dudes. You got, yeah, man, 35 is nasty, man. So, what's the other guy's name that, um, plans with Shakur and Steve? Keyshawn, Keyshawn, that's right. Hey, hey, you know what? But you know, Wilson at the division, and he can sleep at any given day right now, like, and I say. If you go on short term, and he capable of beating any of these guys right now, uh, Anthony Peterson. Oh, yeah. AP, yeah. <laughs> they, they man. Oh, they, they ain't they going to. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to be in front of Jim Jones, no, but man. He's like 140. He's like 140. Yeah, he get down no, to 130. He's like he just yeah, he moved out to 40, yeah. Yeah, 140. Yeah. yeah. But he can still make 35. He can get back though. down to 35. He can make 35, though. He can make 35. He can make 35. But yeah, well, I'm gonna give y'all my predictions, man, at the, the, the 135. What is it? Uh, as I said in February, man, my answer is the same as Clarence. I had um Shakur Stevenson. I'm basing it upon pure boxing ability, man. Just the, the way the guy get out of I watched him spar uh, Devin Haney. And I watched the back and forth exchange. They both were amateurs, though, at the time. But I could see how what, what, what his future was looking like. You know what I'm saying? The way he was... I mean, he ain't just no one-dimensional dim defensive fighter. You know what I'm saying? You know, some dudes known for slipping. Some dudes known for do blocking. This brother blocks. He slips. When you when you throw a punch, he's counter. He got some of the greatest boxing IQ I've seen since Ray Leonard coming out the amateurs, in my opinion. Yeah. So, Slip. and I don't think Tank is going to be able to beat him 12 rounds. I don't think that Tank is going to be able to catch him within 12 rounds to beat him. Shakur Stevens is a as elite, doesn't make that many mistakes and have many windows or Tank to find a, a trap, to create a trap. He's that smart of a boxer to the point I don't think a trap could be set for him. Like Clarence said, he he, he ain't going to take no risk. <laughs> He's like, he nah, no risk. I ain't doing that. He ain't going to go for the bait. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So he ain't going to yeah. go for the bait. So, <laughs> Do you so, know, I, um, also, the one uh, uh, Garcia that lost to uh, Tank, he's moving back down. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, he about uh, to fight um, yeah, the homie. Fight he about to fight the homie from uh um, about to Noah fight Lamar Roach. Yeah, yeah Noah Street. Fighting for the 130. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, he about to fight that's Lamar Roach. That's gonna be a good Lamar fight. It's mandatory. That's gonna be a good fight, man. That's gonna be a good fight. So yeah, yeah. man, I, at 135 so far, we got two with uh, Shakur Stevenson. Got two undecided. So we're gonna leave well, it I, mean, I mean, nah, I, I now, say, like I got say, I pick, I pick. I pick. No, I say I pick Tank short term. Long term, I'm more leaning probably Shakur because Tank probably yeah. ain't gonna be in the division. But um, yeah. like Tank probably gonna be gone by then. But uh, and then Shakur and Keyshawn won't fight. Let's let's throw this hypothetical out there, right? These two fighters, Ryan and Tank, do so well that these dudes say hell with moving up. We're gonna stay here till we all collect. And the promoters hey. might say, hold on, we can make so much money. 
mixing this thing up too. You think it's that's like a possibility? Durant and Durant and Hagler and all of them. You know they made that four way thing like Durant, Sugar Ray Leonard, Hagler, and all them forty that made money off the yeah, And they gonna yeah, make yeah. them. They gonna make them have to meet at forty because like Shakur probably ain't gonna be down there for a few years, yeah, for two, three like years too. You know what I'm saying? So they all gonna meet at forty, man. Yeah. You know. All of them, like Keyshawn, gonna wind up having to move up. Schofield gonna have to move up. I don't know, Dula. He, I don't know if he gonna have to move up so fast. But uh, yeah, all of them gonna have to. They gonna meet at forty. Forty gonna be lit next. You know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What you got? Look at the minutes and all them moved up too. Nah. What you say? What you say? You know, Agent Bonner signed with Don King. Uh, Don King, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Don said. He don't. He's a man with no weight either. He's all. He's like this way and that way. You don't yeah, really know. think he about yeah. he in, he in forty two. He at forty two. So uh, he's like what? Four forty. Between forty and forty seven. Yeah, but yeah. he gonna he, he he need to stay forty. Forty seven, a little spooky. He'll go ahead, and stay at forty. Don't 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 jump so, up there. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the mic around to all of y'all. Okay. I want to chop last predictions on the fight. Which round? Why you say it? I'm gonna start with you, Clarence. Which round you think uh, who's going to win and why between Ryan Garcia and and uh, Tank? Um, I can't pick a round, man. You know, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even gamble on that, man. I told okay. you, man, I'm a gambler, man. I got you. you I got I, you. <laughs> I, I ain't going. You know. I'm, yeah, you, I'm just going to say, man, that, like I said, I'm going with the home team. I mean, anybody Javante fight, I'm I'm going with. I yeah. don't care. You know what I'm saying? He's from the DMV area. That's my man. Yeah. I want Charlie to beat whoever. You know, so uh, I'm definitely going with him. Um, what round? I can't say because, like I say, man, uh, see, you got to fight that fight, but. At the, at the end of the day, man, both of them, they got elite trainers in their corner, man. He got Goose yeah, in their corner, do. man. They do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, Goose they and a do. bad boy, man. Goose you know, and a bad boy. The same guy that was in there with that fight with Diego Corrales. Corrales and, and Casamayor. That's indeed. Oh, yeah, Casillo. Yeah, Casillo. Yeah, yeah. Casillo. Yeah, you, right, know, so, uh, you know, uh, they done seen a lot of styles. You know, they done been around a lot, man. You know, uh. You know this fight. This fight actually might come down to coaching. I, I, yeah, that's I, I wanted to. I was going to get to that point. I, I was going to because you think Goosen can Goosen can he can adapt a little bit better than Eddie Reynoso did. You know Eddie Reynoso. You can see with Canelo, he can't really. They don't really adapt mid fight. Stick. They stick to the game plan. You know what I mean. And Goosen really can't maybe be able to adapt to the fight as the fight go on. So when Ryan get going early, Tank adjusts, Goosen might be able to readjust. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So I, 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 that's what I think. Um, I can't really pick no round because I just tell you what. <laughs> if it go to decision, don't be don't be upset if some if some politics <laughs> come into play. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's all I can tell you, man. Hey, look, if they make it to the uh, to the 12th round, and don't be surprised if politics come into play. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's that's all I can tell you, man. Um, you know, like it took too much. Like it's taking too much to make good fights now. So. Yeah. You know, so evidently, man, it's a lot of politics involved, man. Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> so, Dawu, give me um, your predictions of what you think with round you think is going I, in, if you think it's a round. If I were to pick a round, I probably would say between the ninth and 10th round, stoppage of tank. Okay. Um, I think that um, Garcia is going to get brave. And the crowd may play into his hands, and he might get kind of brave and um, maybe hitting Tank with some good shots and keep coming out and thinking he's, he got it. 
into a tank, hit him with something that he don't see to put him down. And when he mm. get back up, and I think Tank Fight will put him down again. And then the next time the referee give him count him again, he get up again. I think Tank will hit him with something else, and referee will save him from getting destroyed. I say somewhere between the eighth or ninth round. Okay. Uh, somewhere in that in that um uh C's. Which yeah. would you what's your predictions on it? Um let's see, my prediction Ryan gets the early rounds. First four, maybe five rounds. Tank start to, you know, adjust to what Ryan do. And that's when the question comes, is Ryan is is Goosen gonna be able to readjust Ryan to, to Tank's, you know, adjustments. Um but I think Ryan's flow is going, going to catch up to him once he start getting a little bit later in the fight, probably around 10, 11, or 10 or 11. The flaws and the, the, the wear and tear from the shots that, that he's blocking and the shots that he's getting caught with going to wind up um, taking effect and Tank could probably get him out there about 10 or 11. Okay. Um, Man, I, okay, you still going? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. I, my thing was I'm, I'm worried for... Um, uh, tank to get two locks fighting him those many rounds like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I I saw some footages of even though he ain't fighting no top notch dudes, but the shots that he was hitting some of these jokers with man was like they would come. You couldn't even can't even see them joints sometimes. Though no, you can't see them. that dude. That dude fast he man. Fights <laughs> or something, man, I'm like damn. <laughs> So, fast. I mean, I'm going with Tank 100%. Tank's going to win the fight. I just think Tank need to get him out of there by three rounds, man. Yeah, I think the notorious slow starter, though. Out of there by, within three rounds. I think it's safe for him to do that. Uh, he's a notorious yeah. slow starter. You, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, you, 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 you got to be honest. We've seen Tank take some shots in these last few fights, and they intentionally was taken, of course. We know they was trying. He was setting up traps, getting them comfortable. Sometimes mm-hmm. he can't do that with this can't guy. Do that with Ryan, I don't man. Think he can do that with Ryan. Ryan. He, he gonna have, but he, he gonna can't. have to. He gonna catch. He gonna have to catch the timing too, though. Yeah, yeah. You ain't right. been. He ain't been in there with nobody that fast. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm you saying? Like, so he gonna have to catch that time, and that's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a couple rounds at least. Yeah. So I mean, that's my only. Thing is, it, that's why I'm just like I asked. That's why I asked y'all like you y'all think it could be a round. And I respect Clarence because he a bad man, so he's seeing things from a. Odd, odd <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. Point of view, I wouldn't put know? no money on no <laughs> round. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I wouldn't put no money on no point of view. That ain't going in his pocket <laughs> favor. <so. laughs> he going to win or lose. That's all he like. I'll get right. if it's round twelve and two hundred and. and, and 32 seconds. It don't Straight even matter. Money you know? so Straight money line. Straight money line. I want to keep something in mind. You know they have a rematch clause in there. Yeah, if, Ryan win. if Ryan wins. If, 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 if Ryan wins, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That was if, a, if a win, showtime. Was on. Yeah. So if they go, like like uh, like Clarence would say, if they go to distance, they might try to get, especially if the fight was good, no. action pack, they may give it to Ryan. And so they can do it again. So get again. Yeah, get some yeah, more gotta money. Gotta be careful. Get some more money up off. You gotta be careful. But my thing hey, is politics. On the referee, politics, man. On the Crazy. Now, one thing I, I didn't know. Over. One thing I didn't know was I know Ryan had over like two hundred amateur fights. I think he said Both that in his in the in the Witcher call. I was like, dang, I ain't know his. Um. Two, yeah, they, um, had, they had a record up on here. Two fifteen and um fifteen losses of yeah. Ryan and two oh six and fifteen loss tank. Hey, yeah, I didn't know it was that decorated. All right, so we got one question in the chat. It was real. We can answer real quick. Uh, from Love Always, what what do y'all think about the plant and the Mexican monster fight? Who you think gonna win that fight? Um, as the fight goes on. An early fight, I think it'll be the monster um, will probably um, probably a stoppage. But as the fight go on, I think I would have to give it to um, what's his name? Uh, Caleb. Huh? Caleb Plant. 
no, no. He, he's talking about the 122 ballot. No, no, no. Nah, nah. He's talking about Plant. Caleb Plant and um, David Benavides. Oh, that monster. Okay, okay. Man, oh, yeah. No, nah, not monster anyway. I think, yeah. I think um, Plant can upset him if he's not careful. If he come in too overconfident, I think Plant, Plant is a great boxer. And um, mm-hmm. a lot of Mexican fighters are mostly aggressive. And if he think he may maul uh, Plant, I think Plant can um, win on points and stack up to unanimous decision. He might even go off on the edge and try to go for the knockout if he catch him right. If he catch him right, he probably can sleep him because he's saying that uh, the, um, Benavitez said that I don't respect nobody I got 13. You ain't you. You said you hit like a little pussy ball. You ain't hardly knock nobody out. And he was saying he beat the rail. I beat the rail when I was twenty three. See, he going in with the wrong mind. <laughs> when any man strap up their boots and put on gloves, it's war. Anytime a man mm-hmm. puts on anything, because don't go in there thinking that you believing in the hype on yourself about you untouchable. Anybody get clipped. Uh, what you think? Bad. What you think, Clarence? Who you think on that one? Who you got on that one? Man, I, I look, man. I like both of them, right? But I, I, I you know, um, but man, you know what? I'm, I'm, um, I'm taking plant for the upset. Oh man! Yeah, you know what? Look, <laughs> let me take this. <clears throat> um, see, uh, I think, um. Benavidez is going going to bring everything that he got. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cuz cuz both of them, I mean, the uh the tension is high with both of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh I think um I think he's going to get out boxed in this fight. I think he's going to be trying to uh get at slim too much. Mm-hmm. He's going to abandon his height. And I think uh he's going to get out boxed in this fight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I, I, I'm taking I'm taking plant too. Um, okay. I love, but don't get it twisted, man. I love both of them for real, but I just don't like the mindset right now for this yeah. fight. You know what I'm saying? I don't, don't get it yeah. twisted. Like, like I I understand the man. I'm a crusher, nigga, but <laughs> it's a little, yeah. it's a little, yeah. it's a little more into it, man. You, yeah. Hey, yeah. Look, yeah. Hey, how much? Yeah, we get more personal, man. I'm suing you and stuff like this, man. So <laughs> you know, it's a little too personal for me, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm 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 riding with a. Uh, well, I, I'm I think Plank gonna get this one. I think he gonna actually he gonna upset him, man. I think he gonna um so I think he gonna box his head off, man, in this fight, man. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So He's who you with got. me. With me, my favorite three, my favorite three fighters. You already know she <laughs> boots, <laughs> Benavidez, and then Tank. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And to show how I, I'm, I'm non-biased though, because like I say, I don't like the rehydration clauses with Tank. You know what I mean? Because I said I said that about the low, the Jake Paul joint. You know what I mean? And I I stand on the same thing with Tank. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and to go with Clarence just said. With Benavidez, the lead up, it is getting a little bit too disrespectful. You know what I mean? The, in the press conference, you a bitch, you a pussy, you this, you that. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 going too far with him and his father saying that. It's far, you know what I'm saying? Plan ain't really giving that energy at that time. So I say he, you know, maybe he want to tone it down a little bit. But I'm going with Benavidez though. That dude nasty, man. That dude freaky, hey, man. Hey, he nasty. Hey, that's my man. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, I like both of them. But I just, I'm telling you, I think, uh, see, I, I, one thing I know about boxing is boxing is 85 to 90% mental. Mm-hmm. You know what, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I also understand when, when a nigga could be too overconfident you know uh i'm telling you man i got plant just setting traps for him just letting them run in the mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. yeah so we're gonna see yeah. though man that's, that's the thing the thing about him 
thing about Benavidez is his that's the that's the weakness in him is his defense. He takes too many shots. He will take some shots. Well, well that, that, that's what I'm saying. And uh, and I and another thing for me, like, so I I really like him, right? But another thing is, like, he abandoned he abandoned his height. Like he mm-hmm. don't use his height. Probably like a small you know guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he hey, look. But I mean, look, he liked that. I mean, he, he kept working <laughs> on this. I mean, he really could he can fight. But man, you know, I just think, man, like, man, if I was six, whatever, if I, if man, I, had, like, <laughs> man, man. Everybody could be on the head of this jail, man. Everything off the jail. Oh, you don't know. That's all day long. Easy, man. Everything yeah. off the jail. Hey, look, Everything man. off the jail. Hey, look, and when they try to get it, I'm going to take both of these off. I'm going to push them down. <laughs> I'm going to pay them. <laughs> I'm going to put their little ass on their knees, man. I'm going to put their ass. Go ahead and get back in their corner. Man, wipe your gloves off. And they right. back on this jet. Back on this yeah. jab, yeah. It's, that, that, that puzzles me, man. Cause like I'm six two, and I'm like, man, if I have a box, I know like that's the I'm just I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm I don't like nobody rushing me, even in yeah. fight, just box, yeah. just street fight. And I'm like, don't rush me. If I jab, if I if I could pick you from outside, I got I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, but yeah. Bama's like um Fundora. Bama like what six nine six ten and and I'm like bro like guy, and he man. tried he and like his last guy, fight man. his last fight he was trying to work behind the jab but he looked so awkward and uncomfortable that they eventually you know and he was getting caught too much they was yeah. like now nah, go ahead and do what you do and he got to do it out of there but it's like man I'm like good God man, how can you not do it though <laughs> it's, 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 it's rare that, that a lot of tall guys know how to fight. In the inside, I'm gonna tell you who was a beautiful fighter in the inside, man. He had the beautifulest brick uppercut, man. That you, I mean, and I that's what made me love him so much, man. Riddick Bow, man. Mm-hmm. If you get past yeah. that, he gonna rip that brick, yeah. you know, yeah. turn that up. That's what he had. Uh, holy field, holy field, you know what I'm saying? We'll see a lot of these guys, right. They can't fight in the inside. That guy wasn't there. He could never fight in the inside. That's why, man. That's why once they got past his one two, uh, he was dead. Um, the one Lamont beat, American. American, yeah, American, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was fighting yeah. The inside. He was done. He was done. Yeah, he was done. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got um, I got plant. I told seize this man a minute ago. It's been about four weeks ago. I say, I just think Plant going to time him. I think he going to time this guy, man, and just catch him with nice, good counter punches. Um, he Benavidez never really fought nobody on his skill level, I don't think, in my opinion, with got the boxing IQ as Plant had. Mm-hmm. Okay, Plant lost to uh, uh, Canelo. That's yeah. a different beast, man. And he was, and he was beating Canelo for real. He was, catch, he was, he was getting, he was getting at him he too. Yeah. Him. And what Canelo was doing was just beating them in the legs. And yeah, the he, was, he, he and slowed him down. So, and that's one so, thing. No, go, go. So, 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 I think Plant going just, just going to be a better boxer. I get, I, you know, we four guys that fought like that before. We all had four guys that just throw a bunch of punches. That, man, that's what we want. I love that type of shit. You counter punch that step over. Spin on them, you know, move your head on them. You can beat guys like that that just throw a lot of punches like that. And he, when he throw his punches, he don't throw them like them dudes that press you. He ain't no pressure fighter. No, he's, he's stepping back with it. He's, he's stepping back with it. So it ain't like the same as a joker coming at you like this forward that caused you to be fighting all tired. You know, you got the joker. Just awkward <laughs> as hell every time. Manny, <laughs> Manny. That's how Manny used to. Manny used to come running Manny. in and just... <laughs> Hey, 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 he ain't one of them type of fighters. What you say? But when when he hits you, boy, you a goner. He he <laughs> he, he put steam on his punches, man. It's it's Who almost that? like Benavidez. Benavidez. Oh, yeah, Benavidez. He throw everything. He he throw everything nasty. <laughs> you are uh, you. You wish you oh, was bad, at home bad that day too. A bad guy, but I, I just think um, I think this is when I think um, him might get him. I think this fight right here is going to show you uh. When IQ 
Yeah. When Boston and I that's kids what I'm going with. Become that's what I'm going be, with. Hey, when when you actually can see IQ, you know what I'm saying? Because right at the end of the day, I, I man, I like Benavidez, but I, I just you know um, right now, man, they this shit too personal. Um, yeah. I and 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 I already think in his head because I think he already felt like man, he he can beat this guy. This guy ain't no yeah. match for him. That's what uh the dude Tiafimo Lopez thought when he fought Cambosis. Cambosis, damn right. Came in damn with all right. that bullshit, not not right. even behind the jab, and got and yeah, and lost the fight. You know what I'm saying? And that was because he came in um overconfidence. You know what I'm saying? Not right. not I'm um, staying behind the game plan, and um I I just I don't see uh I don't I mean where they at mentally. I don't even see Benavidez having a game plan for this. I think all he want to do is, is knock him man, out. F the dude up, man. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Hey, we all know, man. We all been in there. Have you ever been there one time? You were so mad in there. And you and you probably could punish the Joker, but the Joker just beating the shit out you because you mad, man. That's why I used to hate fighting mad, man. Man, look at him, man. Mm. I was fighting in the Muhammad Ali Cup, man. I um I fought a dude from the Philippines, man. I came out, I hit him with a right hand. Boom. Uh I was uh uh David Reed, he was just about to uh he had just he had just won his gold medal. So um matter of fact, I think he was about to get ready to fight Trinidad. So I was like, Dave, you gotta watch this right hand. Might hit this dude with a right hand. Boom. Man, buffed him. Man, this and, and he probably was like, he was like five ten. Man, let me tell you something. I hit that guy with that right hand. And man, after that, I couldn't touch him no more. Hey, look, I was coming. I just thought I just thought that I was gonna land around. I was just walking. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, guess what he was doing? He was just stepping around. He, he was yeah. using his hand. Hey, look, man, I ain't hit that guy no more, man. So, Damn. so, so <laughs> what I'm saying is is in, in, in my head, I was just like, man, I heard him with the right hand, I know. So I abandoned my jab and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. Like, man, mentally, man, I just don't think that I don't think uh Benavide is there. I think it's so much personal that man, you know what I'm saying? By the time he realized that man, he need to, you know, set shit up, the fight gonna be over. Mm -hmm. so, brothers, man, it was an honor and a pleasure to have both of y'all on here, man. What you say? Thank you for having me, That's man. Great, anytime, man. brother. You welcome, you man. Uh, 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 Clarence <laughs> and, and Dao, man. Y'all the brothers, man. And I can get on the phone. We can just wrap it up, chop it up all the time. So, you know, you know, this is a fraternity, man. Uh, 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 uh this is what we do, man. We, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting and, and sitting down with all the fighters again one day, and we sit oh, down dude. and. Man, just talk life, man. You know what I'm saying? In general, man. So, brothers, man, I appreciate y'all for coming on here. Y'all both, you. man, it gave us some information. It gave them, gave the fans exactly what they needed. Experts. Boxers that actually done it. And, and, and you know, Clarence, I, I love having you on here too, man, because one thing about it too, man, when you do things on an international level, um, you see all styles, right? You know what I'm saying? So when you're dealing with these fights on TV that we are dissecting, a guy that been to the Olympics and been on a international level kind of can see things that even some of us who, you know, I'm, I, you know, I have many fights. I fought many nationals, but internationally, you, it's no style you haven't saw. So Right. You know what I'm saying? The wisdom that you bring is excellent, man. And that brother Dot who fought the best of the best around here, too. You know, he had James Baker and he fought guys on that level, man. And and so styles, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and boxing after a certain level becomes when it's about mistake being made. That's where mistakes, that's what I'm saying. Keller, Keller Plant and versus uh Benavidez, this is all ball down to mistakes. And we already right. see a mistake from him as he mad. He's already showing his emotions. Yeah. yeah. And, man. That person was business. 
It's business, exactly. So, brothers, man, this is what we, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Sean Bay Mitchell was just talking about this, man. You get guys come on here, bring them on here that know the sport, man, that done the sport. It gets mm -hmm. no better than this right here, man. And this is how we're going to present it from here on. It's going to always be the guys that actually did this on a level like no other, man. Ladies right, and cool. gentlemen, man, like my brothers, man, Dao Mardi, right. Clarence Vincent, ladies and gentlemen, the second win, boxing media. Peace. 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 Hit that Peace. sub button. <laughs>